Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about a material that a lot of people may not have noticed, but is very important in the construction, field powdered sodium silicate. If you are interested in building materials, remodeling or building construction, then you definitely don't want to miss this video. Sodium silicate may sound a little strange, but it works wonders in mortar. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to take you on an in-depth tour of exactly what powdered sodium silicate is, what amazing things it does in mortar, and why it's so important. Don't go away. The excitement will begin soon. First let's start by understanding what powdered sodium silicate is. Sodium silicate, also known as water glass, is in an organic compound. It is a white or light gray powder with strong bonding and water. Retention properties. In the construction field, powdered sodium silicate is often used as an additive, widely used in mortar concrete, fireproof materials and many other building materials. Its main components are silica and sodium oxide, and this unique chemical composition makes it very useful in mortar. Next, we will see how it changes. The performance of mortar. The first important role of powdered sodium silicate is to reduce the risk of cracking and sparging on the mortar surface. In traditional mortar construction, surface cracking can be easily caused by rapid water evaporation or improper material. Proportioning. Sodium silicate, however, can reduce surface cracking caused by rapid water evaporation through its unique water retention properties, which allow the mortar to maintain ascertain degree of humidity during the drying process. At the same time, it can also improve the fluidity of the mortar, avoiding the phenome non of sparse pouring due to the uneven distribution of materials. To ensure that the surface of the mortar is smooth and even, in addition to reducing cracking, powdered sodium silicate significantly increases the flexibility and flexural resistance of mortar. This means that the mortar is less prone to cracking even when subjected to external impacts or environmental changes. For example, temperature changes, humidity changes. This flexibility is important for the durability of buildings, especially in areas that are susceptible to external forces, such as walls and floors. Another important property of powdered sodium silicate is its water retention effect. It can effectively inhibit the drying and temperature shrinkage of mortar. During the drying process of mortar, the evaporation of water will lead to volume contraction, while temperature changes will also cause thermal expansion and contraction. These shrinkage phenomena are often the main cause of cracking and cavitation. Sodium silicate, through its water retention effect, can slow down the rate of water evaporation while stabilizing the temperature of the mortar, thus reducing the probability of cracking and hollowing. Finally, powdered sodium silicate can also significantly improve the mechanical properties of mortar. It can increase the compressive strength and flexural strength of the mortar, making the mortar more robust and durable. This means that mortar with sodium silicate not only performs better during construction, but also maintains good performance in long-term use. Great lie extending the service life of the building. Powdered sodium silicate is wide lie used in actual building construction. It can be used in internal and external wall mortar to improve the flatness and durability of the wall. It can also be used in floor mortar to reduce the cracking and sanding phenome non of the floor, even in some special building parts, such as basements, bathrooms and other wet environments. The waterproofing and moisture proofing properties of sodium silicate can also play an important role. In short, whether in residential buildings, commercial buildings or industrial buildings, powdered sodium silicate can significantly improve the performance of mortar. So how to choose and use powdered sodium silicate? First of all, choose high-quality sodium silicate products. High-quality powdered sodium 
Silicate has uniform particles, better water retention and bonding. Secon dry. When using, the dosage of sodium silicate should be reason, ably controlled according to the specific construction requirements and environmental conditions. Generally speaking, the amount of sodium silicate added in the mortar total amount of about 3-5%, but the specific proportion also needs to be adjusted according to the actual situation. Finally, attention should be paid to the mixing during the construction process to ensure that the sodium silicate can give full play to its role. Well, that's all for today about the role of powdered sodium silicate in mortar. If you think this video is helpful to you, don't forget to like and share it. If you have other questions, such as the specific method of adding sodium silicate price or you want to know more about construction materials, welcome to leave a message in the comment section. I will answer for you in the follow-up video. Thank you for watching and we. I'll see you in the next video.